Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Love for Intuitive Astrology. So my name is Michelle and I'm an intuitive astrologer. I combine astrology with my intuition and I'm going to do, to do the same in this video. I will start off by uh, talking about astrology and then I will share you with you my intuitive insights. So this video is for the sign of Gemini. So Gemini, sun, moon and rising for the month of August 2023. Okay, so Gemini, the month of August is going to be very slow. <laughs> We're going to have so many retrograde planets, so it's not really a good time to take a lot of action, okay? It's a time of slow movement, introspection. We have Venus retrograde, and this starts already from the beginning of the month. Then on the 23rd of August, we're also gonna, going to have Mercury retrograde. We have Saturn and Pluto retrograde, and Uranus retrograde will be um, also coming at the end of August. So overall, this is a quite slow month in which you are going internal. You're going to internalize um, your feelings uh, regarding love, regarding money. Um, maybe some unfinished business is going to come back and you will have Venus retrograde together with the sun in Leo in the third house. So definitely there are going to be some struggles coming up regarding your siblings. Maybe you felt that one of your siblings uh, got more attention than you uh, in the past or maybe in the present. Things that are bothering you are going to come up. So if you're going to visit your siblings in the summer, in the month of August, just listen to these feelings and really see what you feel is making you, yeah what makes you feel uncomfortable when you're in their surroundings okay and maybe you have to talk about something maybe you have to close a certain chapter mercury will be in the sign of virgo uh, it likes to be in the sign of virgo it's very precise but it will be retrograde so there will be some critical because virgo can also be very critical um thoughts about your family so definitely if you are with your family, because it will be in your fourth house and this has to do with your family, uh, also contracts. So be very much aware if you're signing a contract for a house that you read through all the details, that you really take time to dive deep into what is really offered about this house and you know, preferably sign it before the end of August. So I would say before the 15th, if you can, and it will be retrograde until the 14th of September. Uh, so after the 14th, but preferably one or two weeks after, because we also have to deal with the shadow period. Um, also, this month is very special because there are going to be two full moons this month. So the first full moon will be on the 1st of August in the sign of Aquarius. And for you, Aquarius is in your fellow air sign in the ninth house. So definitely a lot of you Geminis might go on a holiday. You might go on a trip. This is maybe a time where you uh, take some rest. Maybe you're picking up a study that you left behind a little bit. You're picking up certain passion and you want to just look through it. And instead of maybe enjoying the summer, you really, you want to read uh, and study. And you could also bring that to the beach, right? <laughs> if you live close to the beach and if you have summer season, because uh, depending on where you're at, I mean, you see me glowing. Uh, it's so warm here. <clears throat> um, I'm in Spain. So definitely it's really summer here. I'm already feeling like slowing down so much. It's like, I just want to take my time doing everything, even recording these videos. Um, I always record them in one day, but I really feel like taking my time. I'm taking some breaks and this is going to be uh, for a lot of people in August. So it's not a time to pressure people to get stuff done, like crazy deadlines. It's going to be like you're crawling on the sand like a turtle, okay? It's going to not 
be a time of pushing forward. I would Saturn in your 10th house, you might um, feel maybe you've worked really hard, right? Because Saturn makes you work really hard and there's maybe very little compliments for the hard work that you're doing. Um, you might get a, a position of authority or might have gotten that this year and maybe you need a break from that right now. Uh, it can also restrict you from any type of work. So maybe you have to put in way more effort to get a job, right? Like as before, it would just come to you more easily and now it would be like more of a hassle. So work is heavy and it will stay this way for a while, okay? But this is your test to work hard and to not give up, okay? But August in particular, you don't have to do that that much, okay? August is going to be slower. Uh, if you do have to work a lot, take it slow, step by step, take some breaks and get through uh, your day, okay? Um, Jupiter in your 12th house is really opening you up spiritually. So this is a beautiful time for meditation. You might get even supernatural experiences and yes, they do exist. <laughs> I have had plenty of those and um, I will show that in a video one day, but it's definitely uh, an eye opener and it opens up all your creativity. You will, you will think faster, but also you will have more profound speech. So in whatever job you have, that might help you. And with Pisces in the 10th house, a lot of you guys have a creative job or you have, uh, you're working as a healer or a spiritual job. So this is your time to take advantage of this spiritual growth. So going back to the moons, because I'm distracted, <laughs> I wanted to continue. So the second full moon is on the 30th of August in the sign of Pisces, okay? So this is going to be in your 10th house. There might be some difficulty coming up in the workplace. This could be with an authority figure and with the moon there in Saturn, it might be a female boss. But it could be that you feel that you are restricting your emotions in the job, that you can't fully express yourself, that you have to be a certain personality or a certain authority figure and you would like to show more of yourself. Okay, so this uh, feeling might start to come up and in between these full moons, which by the way are both super moons, so they will be the really large moons in the sky and the one on the 30th of august the last one will be the biggest moon of the year and two full moons in a month it happens around every two and a half years so it's not super rare but it's a little bit rare right so a lot of lessons will come up it's the best way to really observe your feelings and observe what's happening. So you will get a lot of answers. And for you, Gemini, a lot will have to do with your family, your siblings, and your work might just be a little bit difficult, okay? So hang in there, it will get better. Saturn does reward people who are going through it. Just do it with poise and calm. And on the 16th of August, there will be a new moon in the sign of Leo. So again, this is in your third house. So this might be a small trip that you're taking. Uh, definitely a lot of Geminis here going on a trip, even if it's a small one. Third house is more about small trips. Ninth house is about large trips, right? That's the 1st of August. But maybe on the 3rd, you're going to visit some siblings or you're going to... Uh, just go on a small trip or maybe you're going to a place where you gather or a workshop where you learn some skill or creative thing and this could be something that you really wanted to do before but you didn't have time to do that so you're going to pick it up again okay so let me get you some intuitive messages friendships right now Gemini might be a little bit complicated with Chiron in the 11th house it might be that uh, your friends need a lot of your attention 
So make sure that you don't lose yourself into helping your friends, okay? Also focus on yourself. Ooh, they're all flying on the ground. Synchronicity. So there might be a lot of synchronicities happening this month, a lot of balance. So you're going to balance your masculine with your feminine energy. And this is because you're going more inward and you're going to really see um, how can I communicate better? Because Venus retrograde will show you how you can communicate better. Same with your family, okay? Stay calm because there might be some miscommunications with your family happening, especially towards the end of the month. But the universe is going to take you to new places and it's going to bring you a lot of answers that bring peace and harmony. Because ultimately these retrogrades are there for you to go back in time and to see things for what they are and to process these emotions and then see what you actually need. What is the lack that you're feeling? And then give that to yourself. Yeah. It's like you're surrounding yourself with light. So it's really important for you that you're going to surround yourself with people that are representing more of the light. Okay. Speak your truth. So there's definitely some, some things are going to come up with your siblings, with your family that you need to talk about. Maybe you you haven't told them some truth. Maybe you, something is bothering you. If you. You've been trying to repress it, but now it's time to express these emotions, okay? So uh, this is my message for you, my amazing Geminis. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, leave a comment below how this resonates with you. Uh, I read all my comments. I'm really curious to know how you're feeling and what this month uh, is doing for you. And also subscribe to my channel so we can spread the message of this channel and become a really nice community. And the more we spread, the more I can offer in information and videos because I don't believe in holding back. I believe in helping others and that's really my mission. Um, if you want to know uh, how astrology is for you personally, I also do private readings. You can go to my website and check out the prices and also you, you find my email in the description box below. Thank you so much for being here. I so appreciate you. I'm so grateful for your love, your support, your donations. It's absolutely amazing. Thank you so much and see you next time.